Hi, Cancer. This is Shade from Blue Alley's Tarot. I'm here to do your January reading. I will try to focus on love, but if career and finances come out, we will talk about that as well. Uh, please like and subscribe to the video. If you would like to book a personal reading, please shoot me an email. My email address is in the description box below. And let's go ahead and get started. Holy Spirit, can you please give clear, accurate messages for Cancer? Okay, um, so the first one says, a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Oh. <laughs> Second one says, my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So maybe some of you are separated from your person, but they're telling you, you know, you're energetically connected, you're spiritually connected. And it may not even be a, sep a bad separation. Maybe, you know, you two live at a distance from one another. Um, I'm not sure. We'll pull some tarot cards in a bit. So the last one says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So maybe you have some, some of you have some really great things about to come towards you, like new opportunities, um, maybe new possibilities in love, reconnection, um, rebuilding some things. So let's go ahead and pull some tarot and see what's going on. And I did already pre-shuffle, um, but I'll shuffle again just so you all can feel the energy. Oh, Lord. Spirit, Holy Spirit, can you please give clear, accurate messages for cancer for the month of January? Okay, so two queens. Um... Hmm. I don't know why these cards keep turning around. So I'm going to clarify these cards. So you have the world card, the queen of cups, and the queen of wands. So let's clarify these. Spirit, why is the world card here for cancer? Can you clarify the world card? Spirit, can you clarify the queen of cups? Okay. Wow, you have the Queen of Cups, the Empress, and the Queen of Wands. And the Three of Pentacles. Um, some of you may be saying 333, three, three, or the number three may be significant, um, or February 3rd may be significant. So write down that date. Write down February 3rd. I don't know why that just came to mind, but something may take place on that day. Um Alright, Spirit, can you give me a final likely outcome card for uh, Cancer for the month of January? A final likely outcome card. Spirit, I need a final, okay. Spirit, can you clarify this Nine of Cups? Okay. All I can say, Cancer, is a lot of you are about to boss the hell up. Um, you have a lot of great cards, um, you know, that deals with your career. Um, with this world card, this lets me know that, you know, um, you're going to reach a goal that, that you um, place for yourself, that you've been man manifesting. Um, whether that's career or love, um, because this card, all like if we're going to speak about love, then this card represents just being in a very happy, secure, loving, and committed place in your relationship. Um, and it just lets you know, like, you know, there's a whole new world that's about to open up to you and uh, your partner or a potential partner. So, you know, just enjoy the moment. This could be a person, um, you know, like the love of a lifetime for you. Or this could just really be a business partner or a forever friend. Or they can just be all three, a, a lover, a business partner, your best friend. It's like, you know, you're getting the best of both worlds. But the three of Pentacles clarified um, the world card, which is Taurus Energy. So this lets me know that whoever you were dealing with in the past or you may still be dealing with them now... Um, you two weren't technically 
in a relationship per se. It was more so like a friends with benefits situation. So, you know, it's like, okay, you two may love each other, um, but you don't want to um, fully to fully commit to one another. At least one of you didn't. So it's like you do you, they do them, but you still deal with each other. Um, but I feel like for you, honestly, I feel like at some point you wanted more. You didn't want to just be friends with benefits anymore. Um, <clears throat> you want you wanted a committed relationship from this person because the Queen of Cups came out. And this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Leo energy. And this just represents like um, taking a step back, doing some, um, focusing on self-care. And it is just the time to, you know, do some emotional um, <clears throat> excavations and some repairs on yourself. So, you know, try to figure out like, okay, why do I keep holding on to this friends with benefits person when I know that, you know, eventually I want someone that I can build with, someone that I can marry, um, someone that just truly lights my world up. So it's like you need to figure out, um, like pretty much like take take away the facade and, you know, figure out what motivates you, um, what triggers you. What what you, what makes you happy? Like truly, what you want out of life? Because this was clarified by the Empress card, which um is Taurus and Libra energy, and oh, and also Leo. I'm sorry, Leo, Aries, and Virgo. I'm, I'm tripping. Sorry, guys. Um, but I feel like once you take a step back and you know um do some self care exercises. And figure out what you really want because when you become self-aware, it's going to really lead you on your true path of what you want to what you want out of life. Because with this, you see that her so okay, so with the Queen of Cups, and some decks her cup is closed, some decks her cup is open, other decks her cup is spilled over. So because in this deck her cup is sitting open, that just lets me know that um, you know, you're open to being love. But more so, you're open to sharing love as well. Um, so you're ready for a committed relationship. You're ready to build with someone. Um, and I think that's going to be for career and love. Now, with the Empress, you know, um, <clears throat> this is someone who is an entrepreneur or you're meant to be an entrepreneur. Um this is a woman that has it all. So you're meant to really have it all. The love, the career, the finances. Um, because with the three of pentacles, and I forgot to mention this. <coughs> excuse me. This basically means that good things are on the horizon. Like pay raises, promotions, uh, job offers. And the Three of Pentacles pretty much tells you to take advantage of all opportunities and possibilities in your career right now, which is so funny because remember the last Oracle card you got, it, spe it specifically said that start creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So your career is about to take off. So um, if you had a business that you were thinking about starting, just know that it's going to take off. Um, if you were trying to go up for a promotion, you're going to get that promotion. But I feel like it's not going to happen until you become more self-aware of what's going on in your life, what you want, what you um, what you accept out of your partner. And once you figure those things out, you're going to get into this empress energy. This is someone who's constantly growing. She's willing to make changes if necessary. Um, like I said, she, she has it all. She can be a wife, a mother. She doesn't necessarily have to be, um, but more so, you know, um, with the Empress card, it just lets me know, like, you're about to get a burst of inspiration, creativity, um, and it may be new, her, uh, romance on the horizon for, for some of you, or I'm going to say for most of you, because, you also have this Queen of Wands energy, which is Leo energy. This is someone who's, I feel like this is the energy you're about to move into. 
I, I honestly feel like you're sick of the third party situation. Um, you sick of your person breadcrumbing you like you want more, but not just out of love, but out of career as well. So I feel like you're going to get into this uh, Queen of Wands energy, which is someone who's very um, domineering, demanding. She's a hustler, very ambitious. Um, she does not hide anything she does. She's not easily controlled. Um, most of the Queen of Wands are self-employed, maybe a single mother. Um, and if this is, and some of you may already be in this energy, but if not, this is the energy I feel like you are about to adopt into your life. Um, because when this card comes out, it tells you to be strong, bold, assertive about what you want out of life. Um, now, you already have a lot of people coming your way because it's like with the Queen of Wands, this is someone when you walk in a room, people are in awe of you. It's just like it's the like your aura is just takes over the room. Um, and I know this sounds crazy, but when you get in that Queen of Wands energy, men look at you like, you know, not only you're a boss, but you're gorgeous. It's like you you become good arm candy for a man, but they know that you can have that you can hold your own. So it's not just about your looks. Um, yes, that's a plus to them, but they feel like you're a very powerful woman. Like you really can hold your own. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're very sexual and you don't hide that. Like, you know, you're fine with talking about um sex and things you're into, um, your sexuality, whatever that may be. Like I said, this the Queen of Wands, she does not hide anything. And she's very fun. She's full of life. Like, you're going to have a good time um, when you're dealing with the Queen of Wands. It makes you feel like you're on an adventure. And I feel like someone new is going to come into your life, and this is how you're going to make them feel. Or every time you're around someone, this is the energy you leave when you walk away from them. Now, this was clarified by the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is someone that's very charming, will sweep you off your feet. They definitely love you, but they're not going to marry you because they're more so for the streets and they have commitment issues. So I feel like, you know, um, they're going to try to come back when they see you in this Queen of Wands energy. The person from the past is going to try to come back. But I honestly don't feel like you're going to give them a second chance. I really don't um, because I feel like you're going to realize that they're playing games. Now, also with the Knight of Cups, when it comes to money, this is a significant increase in your finances. So um, for some of you, this would be like a big promotion that's going to increase your finances. Um, this can also indicate that it's time to turn any idea or inspiration that you have into something tangible and real. Um, turn it like so, <clears throat> say, for example, if I don't know, if you love knitting, Turn it into a business because it's going to take off. Uh, so it's like create something from one of your ideas that you've been harboring on. Now for your likely outcome cards, you have the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So the Nine of Cups talks about, um, and this is Pisces and Cancer energy. So, and I'm sorry, I didn't, the Knight of Cups also, that is um, Pisces and Scorpio energy. Now with the Nine of Cups, this talks a lot about wishes and dreams come true. So whatever you're manifesting is going to come true. So um, if you've been manifesting a new person in your life, it's going to happen. Um, you don't have to worry about that. Like just keep putting the work in and excuse me, everything is going to work in your favor. Now, I feel like for a small few of you, um, you may have been dealing with someone in the past that dealt with an addiction. Um, and which I feel like this is that Knight of Cups. Because remember I said there's someone who um, likes to be in the street. They have commitment issues. And I feel like, you know, they see you in this Queen of Wands energy and, and this Empress energy. So now the Nine of Cups talks a lot about detaching from an addiction. So they know that you bossed all the way up. And I feel like people are starting to, you know, mention your name but in a positive light like damn cancer is really on her shit or on his shit cancer looks good cancer this cancer that and this person is getting jealous um they want their person back but they know in order to come back to you they're gonna have to come correct because you have the queen of cups so that means you've done the self-care you're more self-aware you're not gonna allow any games to be played anymore 
So I feel like they're going to try to um, get their shit together. They're going to try to detach from any addiction or um, any third party that they may have had. They'll try to detach from that because they know that they may lose you because, where is it? With this Ace of Cups right here. Um, and it's so crazy because I don't know if you all paid attention, but the Nine of Cups literally just fell out of my hand. And I felt like that was spirit saying, let it go. Like, let that past energy go. Because with the um, Ace of Cups, this basically means you're going to have the opportunity to fall in love um, or just be emotionally fulfilled. So this signifies a new opportunity coming in your life. Um, and that's going to be in career. And that's going to, I feel like, a new lover. A new lover is coming into your life. Um, and they're going to love you. They're going to build with you. I feel like you two are going to make a lot of money together. And it's so crazy because this reading is so similar to Gemini because I just did Gemini reading. The Nine of Cups for the final likely outcome card came out for Gemini as well. Um, so some of you may be dealing with a Gemini, so you may want to watch the Gemini reading. But this reading, I feel like I'm pretty much doing the same reading. It's so crazy. So go look at that. But with the Ace of Cups, your money is going to increase. You're going to have new lovers come in to try to pursue you. But I feel like the new lovers that's coming into your life is going to come correct. Because they know, like, okay, this is a boss-ass bitch. Like, i got to come on my A-game. Um, and I feel like you're going to be really emotionally fulfilled. You're going to be really happy. Let's pull some angel messages and see what your angels have to say. Holy Spirit, can you give me clear, accurate messages for cancer for the month of January? What does cancer need to know? peaceful resolution so if your person comes back i don't feel like you have any animosity towards them because i feel like with the queen of cup energy it's just like okay i'm healed like i'm at a peaceful place in my life um like nothing's gonna really bother you or upset you you're not gonna let anything really get to you spirit can you give me more messages for cancer Look, it says there's something better. Yes, let that past energy go. Spirit does not want you with that past energy. Then it says be assertive. So when they come back on their bullshit and with their sob story and telling you how much they change, Spirit is saying stand your ground, be assertive, and let them know like, hey, time has passed. Any more messages? Oh, these cards are all over the place. Any more messages for Cancer Spirit? It says it's up to you. So, yeah, the ball is in your court. Oh, my God. Now that I think about it, I got the same angel messages for Gemini. Be assertive. It's up to you and peaceful resolution. So, some of you have to be dealing with a Gemini or um, that may be your moon or rising. But this says recovery, which goes with this Queen of Cups. Take a moment for yourself. Um, you know what song just came to my head? It's called Me Time by Heather Hidley. Uh, I'm, is it, no, Heather Medley, Heather Hidley. I, I don't know, something like that. But it's called Me Time. And she just basically saying, you know, how she just need time for herself. It doesn't mean she doesn't love you. But I need time for myself. So get into this Queen of Cups energy so you can heal do some self-reflection, become more self-aware um, because spirit wants you to go in a recovery uh, phase. And the last one says, let go. Yeah, it's time for you to let this past energy go because honestly, I feel like they're just a fuck boy. They like to be for the streets. They have commitment issues. And for some of them, um, for some of you, your person suffers from some type of addiction. So we're just going to pull a few hidden messages and see what they would like to say to you. Let me shuffle these really good and it's so crazy because before i even started the video i did do a pre-shuffle but um like i said you and jim and i had a lot of similar cards so i don't know what that's about so this says i knew exactly what i was doing so if the past hurt you in any type of way they were really aware of what they were doing you don't know how hard it was to let you go Spirit, what other messages? Oh, dang, everything fell out. Hold up. 
Spirit, what other messages do you have for Cancer for the month of January? I'm so attracted to you. I think this is the new person energy. I want to feel that way again. So the old person is basically saying they want to feel how it, how it was in the beginning. But honestly, it's too late. <laughs> then it says, I want to be more than friends. Um, so if some of you already started talking to a new person, they want a relationship with you. And it's so crazy. It's like every other card is your past person, then a new person. Then it says, I couldn't let you get close to me. I think that's the past person. Then it says, I wish I could share my good news with you. Let's get one more message. I look for you everywhere. So this could be new or the past person. So maybe if it's a new person, um, maybe, you know, they haven't came forward yet. So they just admire you from afar, but they just always hope to run into you. So they may go to places that they didn't know that you frequent. Or this could be the past person doing that. Um, but I do feel like this was overall a good reading. I feel like you already have a lot of abundance. Your career is about to take off. Your money is about to increase. And you're about to be in a really loving, committed relationship um, once you know you do your self-care work. So please comment below and let me know if this resonates. And I will talk to you next week.